Good afternoon, students. Please read this article about Margaret Thatcher, who was buried yesterday. The article is very long with lots of difficult vocabulary, so this should keep you busy for quite a few hours. Then listen to the audio and try to answer these questions. So question number one. How do you think Margaret's political and social philosophy was influenced by her childhood? Please pause the audio before listening to my answer. Try to speak out your own answer aloud. Margaret grew up in a small English town where her father owned a grocery shop. He was a hard-working man who was also involved in local politics. He was very religious and believed in hard work and self-help. It seems quite likely that Margaret inherited these qualities from her father and this enormously influenced her political and social career. Question number two. Tell me something about Margaret's university life. Pause the audio. Margaret studied chemistry at Oxford and during that time she began to become interested in politics. In particular she supported the Conservative Party. Question 3. The, the time when Margaret began to get seriously involved in politics in England was a time of high unemployment and a large degree of state involvement in the economy. Can you say something about the state of the British economy at this time? And <coughs> Margaret's attitude towards it. Pause the audio. During the Second World War the country became quite left in their political attitudes. By, by left I mean socialist. And this carried over after the war where the government had a large degree of involvement in private industry and in controlling the economy. At the top of the government's agenda was full unemployment and to try and reach this target they would spend a lot of public money. Margaret disagreed vehemently with this political and economic strategy <coughs> which we can see was totally opposite to the beliefs of her father. Question 5. Tell me something about Frederick Hayek and how he impinged upon Margaret. Frederick Hayek was a famous economist who believed the government should have little control in the economy the economy would be most successful if left to private control. This view was strongly supported by Margaret and she frequently made reference to Hayek to support her economic policies. Question 6. Describe the situation which existed when Margaret became the Prime Minister in England. Pause the audio. Margaret became Prime Minister in 1979 and at that time there was extremely high inflation in England and high unemployment. She tried to deal with these problems by reducing government involvement in private enterprise and also by reducing the power of the trade unions. Last question. Tell me about Margaret's relationship with the trade unions or workers unions. 
when she became Prime Minister in 1979, the trade unions controlled much of the English country. They were effectively using strong militant tactics such as striking, able to negotiate strong terms with companies and effectively control these companies. After a long fight with the unions, Margaret was able to finally destroy their power and this trend <coughs> has continued ever since. Okay students, hope you enjoyed that. <coughs> very difficult article but very rewarding if you can spend the time and be patient enough to learn the vocabulary. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <coughs>